All right, ladies, gentlemen, and kiddies, thanks to Aprilia of North America under Piaggio, I'm at the Americade, and today I will be riding the Aprilia Torso Duro 900. What kind of tongue twisting name? So, here you go. Yep. It feels like a glorified supermodel. I think it's meant to compete against the the Ducati Hyper Motard, I think. Uh-oh, this this wing is kind of loose, so I'm just going to adjust it right. That's right. There you go. Turn it on. This is our Aprilia. There you go. On and very nice. Ooh, very bassy. So while we're why while we're waiting right now, it's check. I'm 6'3, 200 to 220 pounds with a 32 inch inseam with a size 13 foot and I'm basically flat footed. Oh so the starter button is kinda a dual purpose which is cool. So right now I'm flat footed. Although the pegs are touching my little part of my shins are right here, on both sides, it has that versus um, pegs location. And I'm liking this already. Sport, tour. Okay, there's three throttle modes. One is the tour, which is the, uh, the softest setting. Sport, oh no, tour is the medium setting, the raid is the softest setting, and of course the sport is like all out super saiyan. It has some traction control modes right around here, but you know, I'm not gonna touch the modes. I'm just gonna taste out this taste, just like taste test on my bikes, on the bikes that I ride. Yeah, the, the position of the pegs is like bothering my legs. If I stand like this, it hits my my leg right here, if I do this, I have to reposition my riding position. I have to scoot my butt to avoid it. But good thing, this tor torso duro has a large seat, seat room. There we go. So far so good. Feels like a, a glorified supermoto is what I said. Wow, this thing feels light. <laughs> so far, this is this is uh, very nice at the moment. It's so smooth. I just have to dust off the uh, instrument panel. So dusty looking. Very soft suspension. It has that verbally sound. This one has a 900cc, on which I don't know the specs of this bike. So I'm just gonna put it on the screen. For your information. Let me dust it off, damn it. What? It's very nice to have a supermodel, a glorified supermodel. Like the... Hyper Motard and this one, the Dorso Duro. So far, vibrations minimal on the handlebar, almost non existent on my butt, and nothing on my foot. Also, the front brakes are very tactile, not much play, so just be careful on that. The rear brakes has a decent amount and progressive, uh, very progressive, easy to modulate stiff actually which is in my opinion pretty good the side mirrors has a decent range of motion with in uh, actually this is one of the best mirrors in the OEM mirrors in the market right now he has a very good coverage viewing area around here and decent range of motion which is good no wonder V-Strom riders loves these side mirrors it feels very beefy for what it is this is basically an unknown bike to most people. So the instrument is, of course your throttle um, throttle modes is on the start button, 
as you switch it all up and then there's some traction control it has a traction control one i think that's the most aggressive part of it and this screen attracts dust so make sure to put a saturated fabric softener and water and they will get rid of the dust factor low speed ability of this bike is excellent I love the way this engine sounds and I like the way this handlebar uh, size it's very meaty so I hope the chase rider just uh, we've been split up into two right now so, so everything is pretty logical um, look, the exhaust is really high up there I like the way it sounds too so Aprilia is a smaller company compared to Ducati but so far I haven't ridden a bad bike from Aprilia yet so let's see how this Dorsaduro 900 acts like right now the clutch lever has a decent uh, amount of play and the release point is almost close to full release already so just be careful on that one one handy thing about the Dorsoduro is that this one has a hand guard but it doesn't have brush plates a brush bar in it so it only protects it from the wind not, not from the tree branches and what so forth the throttling of this bike is pretty good sure it has herky jerky feel on full full release and then suddenly you put it on gas but if you consistently use it it's not as bad it's not as bad as the MT MT10 that I rode few few rides ago right now I hope that we can catch up with the other group because those are the fast guys because uh, we're blending it with the Gucci guys and they usually ride slower than than us I hope they have their Senna comps you know together you know. so far so good it, this bike is easy to shift and all, all in all it's so easy to ride I'm just very surprised for a bike that I barely know and all okay now we can catch up alrighty let's go let's have fun go go let's see how we attack this very nice I like the way this bike acts very 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 nice it's very well planted in the corners despite of its super moto uh, nature this type this very this uh Heavyweight supermoto is much more compliant on the back roads like this and on the freeways too. I hope that the truck moves over and gives us the full wheel or else it will be a boring stint. Well, so far so good. I like the way this bike handles. There's not much vibrations. Oh, hell yes! Nice! <laughs> yes! Yes! Actually, the vibrations of the handlebars, once you pass 6,000 revs, it really gives you a little bit more vibrations on it. It really gives you the, the hard edge option of it. Very, very nice. Very nice. I like the way this bike handles already. Come on! Harder! <laughs> this bike wants you. The bike gives you a, an option to do full knee sliding action. <laughs> I feel like a super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> very nice oh I like this 
I'm beginning to fall in love with supermoto type bikes. Like this, the Hypermotard, the 701, even the DRZ400, as a matter of fact. Uh, I wish it could go a little faster. I'm already having my flow already going on. I'm going faster than him! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> it sucks the bus really well too! It's just for some reason the gauge is... The, the gauge feels like lo it's loose. Whoa! <laughs> Very nice! like I'm sparring with someone. All you need on this type of back road is third gear and that's it. You will pull very nice, nicely. Wow, they're far and away. We were kicking it and we still haven't caught up with them. Oh well, that's how it is, you know. Very nice. Oh, I love that when the rear suspension squats out like that. Thumbs up, of course. <laughs> After that, shoot. Epic. I'm behind you, bro. He has that Iron Man helmet. Alrighty. See, it really soaks up bumps really well. The good thing is about this, this bike, you can really toss it around really well. Like nothing. The throttling is excellent, this bike. Awesome. Okay, let's look at the bike around. This is gonna be a good, in my opinion, if I'm gonna buy a first Italian motorcycle, I think this might be it for me. Not the Tuono. The Tuono is more hard edge and serious, like that one. Same goes with the RSV. Those are serious bikes. But the Dorso Duro, perfect. Just right. A good entry to Italian motorcycling. Plus it's 900cc, just like the FZ or MT-09 with the herky-jerky throttle. And plus it's a super model. Although I haven't ridden the Hyper Motard yet, so I'm gonna reserve my judgment at the moment for that. Ah! It sucks up bumps really good, even with that bone crushing pothole over there. Whoa. And for some reason, the group was split up, and it's, I think, the ride is over, basically. See, the lead rider is getting frustrated because a lot of us got separated and everything. So that's pretty messed up. Messed up. Very messed up. Alrighty. Let's get it on. Yes! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> yes! This is what I'm talking about. Very nice. This one only has a stock exhaust. And it sounds good. It's not too muted whatsoever. See, it's so easy on the bumps. I'm planning to ride that shiver next. And I'm not so sure if it's going to top this 900. Torso duro. 
torce duro Sobs like car carbonara of pasta But of course like any naked or supermoto bikes You have limited to no wind protection So there you go This guy is riding conservatively I should have stick to the guy in the on the Tuono over there but oh well I don't want to be a I just want to stay a good guy right now so it's nice to be bad and all but you know I don't want to be I don't want to get kicked out from the run so there you go <laughs> so amazing that this bike doesn't have much vibrations unless if you go beyond 6,000 revs other than that, for cruising a fourth gear at 4,000 revs, it's a pretty smooth bike to ride on. It has that low frequency vibes, like what you get on a on a Harley. It won't really bother you except on idle. Oh, I'm liking this bike already. Well, this is my first ever um, uh, upper class supermoto. Oh, Motard or whatsoever. Sounds nice too. It sounds burly. Oh, very, very nice. I misshifted. Oh, well. It's gonna be fun! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Too bad on high speeds you don't even hear the engine anymore. But if you're cruising you can really hear it very well. But when you're attacking like this already, uh, I can barely hear the engine. I can just feel the vibes though. Oh, this bike will get you in trouble. Just like some sport bikes. I'm not gonna pass that shiver. That Iron Man guy really passed, passed that shiver guy very cleverly. Oh well. Very nice. I like that sweeper too. There's a rock in my shoe! <laughs> oh, very nice. I wish we have roads like this in Vegas. Pretty torquey too, even a fourth gear or a fifth gear. It's chugging right now, fifth gear, but it will easily pick up through the revs. I think this gear is say the sixth gear is only good if you're going through the high the freeways or highways. But so it's a matter. But on this back roads. Fourth or third is better. I just have to toughen it out of its vibrations a bit. Too bad on 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 the limit. I can barely hear the engine, which is sad to some degree. Come on, GTI, get that away, get that away now. <laughs> He's gonna do a wheelie. The Tuono guy over there, Iron Man. <laughs> Ah, this bike gives you a nice workout too. Not as bad as the uh, the dirt bikes, for the matter. I think the battery is about to die again on this one. So, just in case, I'll see you once we check the bike out again. Sorry about that guys, uh, the battery went kaput as we ride along, but I was having a very good time riding aggressively with that uh, RSV factory over there, and I gotta say it's a very nice, very excellent bike. If I'm gonna buy a first Italian motorcycle, I think uh, other than the Beta, I might get this. It, it does whatever you want to. It's an excellent commuter bike. And look at it. It looks so good. 
the exhaust is just right around here. You got enough room to screw around if you want. It's a very excellent bike. Um, I don't know the price of this. I'm just going to put it on the screen. Uh, and this is the same 900 cc motor as the shiver over there has they almost share almost everything except the way it looks this one looks like a an elevated up uh upper class uh supermoto but i'm very impressed with this bike so yeah this is the 2018 or 2017 Aprilia Dorsoduro 900. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.